Hey guys, got an email from Bivison recently saying that their grow tents performed better than two of the big brands on the market. I was quite surprised because as far as I was concerned, the silver mylar wrapping inside the tents um, is going to be, I thought it was going to be the same for any model of tent, but I was wrong. Um, and I'm going to show you those tests in a minute. But I'm also going to look at the other features and uh, functionality of these tents. Got lots of specs to look at and uh, lots of uh, objective analysis, I hope, on these um, four different models from three different brands. Um, yeah, let's get stuck in. First one is the existing Vivo Sun. It's a little baby tent, lightweight model, really. Um, new Vivo Sun tent, AC Infinity, and a Gorilla. All the details and specs are in the description below. First of all, before I go into the test details, just run over the tents as I found them. So, three different or two different door types. There's this roundy type door, um, which has the one zip that comes around. I actually prefer that one just because it is the one single zip. The Gorilla has this um, H shape, so there's a zip going up and down, then zips on each side. I just think it's a lot of zips and a lot of joining points. Um, that'd be my own personal preference now, but that's it with the zips. With regards to the material, they are um, all the tests I'll show you in a minute. This is a relatively lightweight one. All the rest are more or less the same in terms of uh, the thickness and the strength of the material. Zips, there's two different types of zips. This one here has this type of zip. I don't know what you call it. It's like a wire zip. Um, same on the two Vivison. Same on AC Infinity. You see the wire type there, hopefully. Uh, whereas Gorilla has this, they say is an industrial uh, grade one. And they say is much tougher, which I'll take their word for it. I haven't tried to pull it apart or anything. In terms of the rest of the fabrication of the tent, just things I've noticed. They've all got the double stitching on the zips and single stitching here. Uh, some of them, however, have these corner reinforcements, um, which I think are really important because that's where the tents will bust out of the, uh, you see the poles busted out in the corner. So the two Vivosun have those corner ones. AC Infinity does not. And the Gorilla has, um, has those corner reinforcements as well. In terms of pole sizes, uh, Gorilla claims to be the toughest and the strongest. Well, these three are very similar. So all around an inch diameter poles, um, around 25 millimeters with about 0.8 millimeter pole thickness. All these are pretty much the same. This one, very lightweight. Um, well, much lighter weight. I think it's a 16 mil pole, same thickness though. Um, so this is definitely a lightweight version and the smallest, as you can see from the height. Small, medium, so that's five foot, um, 1.5 meters. These are six foot or 1.8 meters. And this is the standard gorilla, uh, but much taller than the others. So that's uh, six foot 11. Um, so yeah, uh, outside of that, oh, things like windows on the doors, they all have these windows, these viewports on the doors. This has a relatively small one, a new one. A relatively big one there in the front. Um, you can see the one on the AC Infinity, relatively small. Two on the Gorilla. You get inside, they're pretty much the same apart. So they all have around the same number of um, outlets. Again, they're listed at the end. Um, what I did notice was the number of vent grills. So two on this one, the small Vivo Sun. They've got two on the larger Vivo Sun, three on the AC Infinity, and strangely, the dark in here in the Gorilla, but only one on the rear there. Um, so I thought that was quite strange because, uh, you know, you could have this against the back wall and you wouldn't be getting good ventilation from low down. So that was an interesting one for me. In terms of material thickness on the um, on the each of the tents, 
each of these three, so the new Vivison, the AC Infinity and the Gorilla, <clears throat> pretty much the same thickness of the material, measured it with the vernier calipers. Um, the lightweight or the small Vivosun, a light, definitely a lighter weight material, but uh, these three pretty much the same. I also tested each of the models for light leakage through the zips. Vivosun uses a double uh, sort of seam flap on the inside, works perfectly well, didn't detect any light leakage from either, either of the two Vivosun models. The AC Infinity has that um, little flap inside of the zip and also this external one on the front. So sort of doubling up really. Again, no light leakage, works perfectly well. And Gorilla Tent does the same. As I said, there is these joints where the zips come together with potential gaps, but there is a large flap internally uh, behind the zip and then another one externally. So extra belt and braces with the uh, Gorilla, even though I don't really know if it's necessary Good for peace of mind, but um, the other uh, one sealed the light perfectly well. So yeah, the next big part of the test was hanging one of, uh, it's actually this Vivosun um, light in the tent. And you can see the test area, I think down there. I'll just dim it down there, sorry. See the test area down there. So four foot by two foot tents, all of them, and took was it eight by four, so 32 power measurements at the bottom. So same hanging height of the light in all three of these, uh, four of these tents. And uh, yeah, I was pretty surprised at the results. So I tested with the same grow light, hung at the same hanging height in each of these tents. And I uh, was pretty surprised at the result. It was quite shocking to me. You can see the two Vivosun tents, uh, about the same uh, amount of power, 495 and 503 micromoles average at the bottom of the tent, that test area. The AC Infinity, real surprise, only 439, 13% less light reaching the bottom. And with the Gorilla, 4% less. Uh, it's a bit of a shocker really um, to me. Although it couldn't detect any difference in the coating, uh, looking at it through a macro lens, which I did for the three types of tents. Vivosun have confirmed that they use a thicker coating than other manufacturers, that is the aluminium coating on the substrate and using a higher quality manufacturing process, keeping it dust free uh, and with micro technology of the surface finish and also um, using a protective coating, nano coating then on the, um, on the aluminium substrate to prevent oxidization, that's rusting and dulling of the finish, they're able to uh, achieve a higher reflectance rating. So overall, if you look at the difference between the, um, you know, the striking thing for me and the Gorilla is it's very expansive compared to the others. Um, really high price relatively. You do get that extra head height. I'm not sure how much use that is. You only get one vent. Um, and their claims about the material and the pole strength, uh, they seem to be very similar to me slightly slightly wider diameter poles um, but the rest being much the same slightly less thick material as far as I could determine um, and not the door type that I would like in terms of the AC Infinity uh, all pretty much good again quite expensive relative certainly to the Vivo Sun um, and reflectivity obviously being being low so that was a bit of a, a shocker with um, with that one. Couldn't really recommend it for that reason. Losing 13% of your light, 13% of your yield, just to have a branded um, AC Infinity branded tent. Everything else being the same. No corner reinforcement. Uh, wasn't that impressed. The early Vivosun F S425. It's a lightweight model. It's much cheaper than the others. You can see that it's 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 a lower height as. Um, thinner material uh, both in the bars and in the um, in the tent material itself um, obviously good reflective um, performance but um, really this new one that they brought out is uh, is definitely the clear winner I think I've proven that uh, objectively it's a good tent um, it's gonna spur me on to look at some others because I have loads of other 4x2 tents here it's one of my favorite sizes I think it's really handy for using at home 
fits into an alcove, bedroom, in a living room, whatever. I've got a few more of them. So I'm uh, going to do a bigger one um, coming up soon. Hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to your comments. Uh, really interested to know what you think. Take care.